Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Science for Everyone. Today I will discuss a very important topic that is related to the microbial nutrition. And the name of the topic is the photolithoautotroph. As I have mentioned in the previous video, that according to carbon source, energy source, and electron source, microorganisms are basically divided into five classes. I have discussed uh, chemo organohetrotroph in the previous video, and this is the second part of this, uh, this series. And today we'll discuss the photolithoautotrophs. These are a group of uh, microorganisms uh, that are using uh, different sources of, uh, they, are, they are using different micro, uh, different nutrients as their carbon source, as their energy source, and as their electron source. And just because of these carbon source, energy source, and electron source, these microorganisms get its name as the photolithoautotroph. So in this video lecture, I will discuss that what is basically the carbon source with an example was it what is basically the energy source and the electrons of these microorganisms, okay? So let's start with the video. First of all, I want to tell you guys that uh, how does it get its name? I have also discussed it in the previous video, but I'm also discussing it here that uh, basically these, uh, this term is divided into three parts. One is uh, the first part is the photo, the second part is the litho, and the third part is the autotrophs, okay? So uh, this, just look here to this table 5.1. Uh, microorganisms are divided into two, two parts according to their carbon source, energy source, and the electron source. So just look here that uh, these, uh, first of all, keep one trick in your mind, this E, N, okay, and E, L, this is a trick I will discuss it now that what is the, what is this mean E L and C okay the first is the energy source the second is the electron source and third one is the carbon source according to this formula these microorganisms are given names okay so just compare this uh, trick with the, this table look here just look here to the energy source so according to the energy source microorganisms are divided into two parts. The first one is the phototroph and the second one is the chemotroph. So we will discuss the phototroph. So just look here, uh, photo means light. So these microorganisms are getting their energy uh, from the sunlight, okay? These are getting their energy from the sunlight. So these are, all, these are all, that is why these are known as the photo. This is the photo. So this photo means that they are getting their energy from the sunlight, okay? So keep this uh, thing in your mind. And the second is the, so first one was the photo, okay? The second one is the electron source. So according to the electron source, these are divided into lithotroph and organotroph. When they get their electron from an inorganic molecule, so then these will call it as the lithotroph. And when they get their in a electron from organic molecule, so and then the, these will call it as the organotroph. So here is litho. So we all means, this means that they are getting their electron from inorganic molecules, okay? And what are those inorganic molecules? I will discuss it in a minute, okay? And the third part is the autotrophs. And auto means that they can synthesize their own uh, food uh, and they can synthesize it from the carbon dioxide, okay? So where, whenever there is autotroph, so you can say that auto means automatic and they are, according to the carbon sources, these are divided into autotroph and heterotroph, okay? So autotroph means when they are using CO2 as their carbon source and heterotroph means when they are using other organic molecule as their carbon source. One thing keep, uh, keep in mind that uh, when plants are using CO2 as their carbon source, so they will, uh, uh, they will perform photosynthesis, okay? So autotroph are those microorganisms that can perform photosynthesis, okay? Just like purple and green sulfur bacteria and cyanobacteria, these all are photosynthetic bacteria. So these are using CO2 as their carbon source. 
so this was a simple brief introduction about the photolito autotroph they are also known as the photolithotrophic autotroph and uh, this is a simple name there these are also known as phototrophs this is a very short name for uh, given to these only phototrophs okay these are also known as phototrophs photolito autotrophs or phototrophic autotrophs okay these three names are given but the simplest name is the phototrophs okay now uh, i will give you each and every example that what is basically how they are getting uh, using this co2 as their carbon source how they are using light as their energy source and how they are using inorganic what are basically the inorganic electron donors so uh, now this is the important part of this video okay so uh, i want to tell you that i will start from the electron source and the energy source and i will uh, i will discuss it uh, with an example okay wait a minute just look here this is the light reaction as i have told you that uh, they are performing photosynthesis okay they are performing photosynthesis and so as i have told you that uh, they are getting their energy source from the sunlight and the electron from the inorganic molecule so just look here if i discuss the electron source okay first and the electron source and these are lithotrophs litho so they are getting electron from inorganic molecules okay from inorganic molecule so here look here this uh, h2o just look here this is the h2o okay if you uh, uh, zoom it here so this is the h2o and h2o is basically an inorganic molecule h2o is an inorganic molecule and look here they are giving they are denoting its electron okay they are giving its electron okay so these are basically the electron donors so if someone asks you that what are basically the electron sources of uh, inorganic electron source so in the photo litho autotroph so you will say that the water is the elect inorganic electron source in the photo litho autotroph secondly i want to tell you that uh, hydrogen sulfide h2s okay h2s in, in uh, green sulfur bacteria uh, these h2s can also act as an electron source and it can replace this water uh, with hydrogen sulfide okay so water and hydrogen sulfide are the very basic electron sources of the photolito autotroph after that when these uh, electron are given to the photosystem 2 okay when they are given to the photosystem 2 just remember the photosynthesis uh, the light reaction okay so when they are given so then uh, the sunlight and i have told you that they are acting as an energy source so what does this sunlight do it energizes the electron okay it energizes the electron and uh, just look here when it is the, uh, the electrons are energized so then they are passed through the uh, to the photosynthetic pathway and after that when they are transferred to different parts of the uh, electron donors and electron acceptor so atp is produced okay atp is produced and as you know that at the end of the uh, light reaction atp is produced so sunlight is acting as a energy source because if there was no sunlight so these electrons cannot be energized and if they are not energized so then atp cannot be produced so here the electron sources are the inorganic water and the hydrogen sulfide and the energy source just look here this is the energy and basically and we know that in photosynthesis the solar energy is converted into chemical energy so basically this atp is the chemical energy but it was uh, it came into being with the help of the sunlight so sunlight acts as the energy source for the photolito autotroph now just if you look if you look to the second image so this is a schematic image of the uh, light reaction okay so just look here this is the light reaction so the mechanism of the photosynthesis so this h2o is the electron source and after that when uh, the uh, with the help of the sunlight now here it is not shown uh, but this these are the photons okay and these are the photons of the sunlight 
when it uh, uh, when it enters the uh, when it uh, the just because of this photons the electrons okay these electrons are energized and after that it flows uh, across the photosynthetic pathway and atp is produced so these are the inorganic electron sources and these are the this just because of these photons just look here this atp is produced because this photon energize the electron and after when it is energized so then it can it it can flows in the photosynthetic pathway and after that atp is produced so i think hope you have understand that uh, uh, the, uh, this uh, this concept that uh, what is basically the electron source and what is basically the energy source now here we come to the carbon source so uh, wait a minute okay so the carbon source just look here if i want to show you so after a uh, light reaction there is a dark reaction and we can also known uh, it can it is also known as kelvin cycle so just look here uh, we all know that in kelvin cycle uh, carbon dioxide is uh, is fixed okay so just look here this is the carbon dioxide if you uh, just look here this is the carbon dioxide so if uh, there uh, and just because of this uh, introduction of the carbon dioxide this pathway proceed and here uh, the glyceraldehyde three phosphate and other glue basically the glucose molecule is produced at the last and the last of the kelvin cycle glucose molecule is produced and this is just because of the uh, carbon dioxide if there was no carbon dioxide so then uh, no glucose can be produced okay so now you know that basically uh, this uh, uh, co2 act as a carbon source okay and how it acts as a carbon source now you have know it so because uh, with the combination of these uh, electron source this energy source and the carbon source so we can produce uh, this glucose molecule at the last okay so hope you have understand uh, this photolito autotroph you now you can name uh, it that why how what why it is known as photolito autotroph okay so for, first of all keep this table and this diagram in your mind so you can easily answer any question related to this okay and if you have any further question so you can ask me in the comment box i will answer you there if you have, you have understand this video well so like this video share it with your friend and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos related to science thank you very much god bless you